The phenomenon of pair bonding is well known in mammals, birds, reptiles and even some amphibians. It is one of a set of mating strategies that evolution has generated to ensure persistence of genes by generating more of the species with those genes. This study started as an investigation into the larval dispersal of Murray Cod, a large Australian freshwater fish. This serendipitously produced data that allowed identification of relationships between the larvae collected. The study was undertaken by Alan Couch as part of a PhD program with Fiona Dyer and Mark Lintemans at the Institute for Applied Ecology at the University of Canberra in Australia. This iconic fish is endemic to the Murray-Darling Basin River system in the East Australian states of Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia. The work was conducted over a 40 km stretch of the Murrumbidgee River in the ACT, Australia, and was done using dispersing larvae collected during the breeding season over the three years 2011 to 13. The dispersing larvae were collected at six points along the river, typically about six kilometres apart. They were genetically tested to identify parentage or other relationships. This technique uses SNPs and was done using a genomic reduction method developed by Andre Killian of Diversity Arrays Technology in Canberra. The data was explored using genetic analysis to identify relationships between the larvae. Isotopic analysis was also undertaken to assist in identification of co-located fish. The Murray cod female lays lots of eggs in nests prepared by a male and many larvae hatch and disperse about 14 days after hatching. In this species it is the male that guards the nest and young larvae. The young larvae were aged using otolith daily growth rings, rather like tree growth rings, from which back calculation allowed an estimate of their nest location and a hatch date to be made. When this spatio-temporal data is plotted, it suggests there are multiple instances of nests of Murray cod, although some spatial overlap is likely if optimal nesting habitat is limited. Some temporal overlap is to be expected within a breeding season. Analysis of SNPs to identify sibling status was done using software called Related. This analysis led to the discovery of relationships between individuals, including half, and importantly, full siblings. When the previous plot is coloured by common mothers shared by full siblings, the pattern of nest identification becomes clearer. The carbon and nitrogen isotope ratios of full siblings provided additional supporting evidence for this full sibling status methodology. The correlation between common mother, coloured here, and similar isotopic signatures is strong. For convenience, we named the female parents, about 35 identified in total, and identified four mothers that had full siblings over multiple years. One of these had mated with the same male for three years in a row. Probability calculations show that this repeated pairing is not random. Furthermore, the chance of this happening randomly is reduced from what we might expect in a system untainted by human interference. Murray cod are highly sought after by fishers, and so partner fish removed from the system in any year will not be available to mate again in subsequent years. Multi-year pair bonding has been seen in marine fish, but this is the first time it has been seen in freshwater fish anywhere in the world. Next time you pull a fish from the lake or river, you might wonder if they are one of a long-term pair bond. In other words, fish in love. And what about the larval dispersal which this study started with? It supports previous work about the distance dispersed by these amazing fish, but the discovery of multi-year pair bonding is likely to be of much greater significance as it becomes better understood. <laughs>